congratulations on the purchase of your Hobby Zone Firebird Scout. This video will walk you through some of the final assembly steps and flying basics that are illustrated in the manual. This video is not intended as a replacement for the manual, so please read it thoroughly before you fly. Before assembling your Firebird Scout, you'll want to completely discharge its battery pack before charging it for the first time. To discharge the pack, turn on the transmitter and install the battery pack. Arm the throttle by pulling back on the throttle stick once. Hold the throttle controller full forward until the propeller stops turning. The battery pack is now ready for its first charge. Plug the battery pack into the charger and then plug the charger into an outlet. During the charge process, do not leave the battery unattended and make sure it's resting on a heat resistant surface. The charger has a built-in timer and its LED indicator will glow constantly while it's charging. After about two and a half hours, the LED will go out, indicating the battery is charged and ready to use. Unplug the charger from the outlet to reset the timer before charging another battery. Once the battery is charging, you can begin assembling your Firebird Scout. To install the landing gear, simply insert it in the slot provided on the bottom of the fuselage near the front of the plane and check that it is secure. Next, attach the wing by centering it with the seam in the top of the fuselage. Center the half circle of protective tape on the rear of the wing over the boom. Once you're satisfied that the wing is centered, attach it using the four rubber bands provided. Stretch two of the rubber bands from the front to the rear attach points and crisscross the other two across the middle. Once the rubber bands are in place, confirm the wing is centered and securely attached. Now that the wing is secured, you'll need to install the battery and test the Firebird Scout's controls. To do this, turn on the transmitter without touching the control sticks. Wait for two seconds while the transmitter automatically calibrates and install the battery pack. Move the rudder stick to ensure proper movement of the control surfaces. The control surfaces should be even with the rudder stick in the neutral position. If they are not, consult the manual and adjust the control lines accordingly. Once you've confirmed the control surfaces are even, move the rudder stick to the right. This should cause the left control surface to deflect upward. Moving the stick to the left should cause the right surface to deflect upward. When you've confirmed that the control responses are correct, you're ready to fly. For your first flight, choose a calm day and find a large open grass field. The Firebird Scout can reach speeds of as much as 20 miles per hour, so the bigger the field, the better. Before you fly, you'll also need to conduct a range test, as described in the Firebird Scout manual. To hand launch the Firebird Scout, hold it at the bottom of the fuselage, apply full throttle, and toss it into the wind using a smooth level motion. Always keep fingers and hair away from the propeller when applying power, and make sure there are no people in your flight path before you launch. Always keep the Firebird Scout in front of you and upwind from your launch point. Allowing the plane to drift too far downwind could make returning to your launch point difficult and result in an off-site landing. Once in the air, the Firebird Scout is as easy to control as an RC car, thanks to Hobby Zone's exclusive SmartTrack flight control software. SmartTrack gives you two ways to fly, standard mode, or expert mode. The Firebird Scout comes out of the box set for standard mode. In standard mode, Smart Track keeps you from over controlling and getting into an unrecoverable situation. The result is a successful first flight with none of the struggle and all of the fun. To fly the Firebird Scout, simply move the throttle stick forward to climb and release it to descend. To turn, just move the rudder stick in the desired direction. When you notice that the airplane no longer climbs well under full power, this means the battery is getting low and it's time to land. 
to land, line the Firebird Scout up into the wind and pick a landing spot. At about 10 feet off the ground, gradually reduce power until the motor is off. The Firebird Scout will glide in for a landing. We recommend you always land on grass for your first few flights until you become more familiar with the Firebird Scout's controls. You'll find more flying tips in your Firebird Scout manual. Be sure to read them all before you fly. After you've mastered the basics, you can access Expert Mode. In Expert Mode, the Firebird Scout will turn more aggressively, allowing you to perform advanced maneuvers like racing around pylons or spiraling dives. Complete directions for accessing Expert Mode can be found in the manual. Your favorite Hobby Zone retailer has a complete selection of Firebird Scout replacement parts, as well as this optional Hobby Zone Peak Charger that's perfect for use out at the field. Simply plug it into your car's 12 volt outlet and it will fully recharge the Firebird Scout battery pack in about 35 minutes. While this video has covered a few of the assembly and flying basics, please read the manual completely before flying. And when you've mastered these basics, you'll be ready for more challenging action, like flying in formation with friends, and even pylon racing. For more about these fun flying maneuvers and Hobby Zone news and info, visit our website at www.hobbyzonesports.com.